Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 41 of the Battle Pope in 1.30, where last episode we destroyed the HRE and discovered that they actually end up changing the uh, decision once you get rid of the HRE. Well, it's either once the League War is lost or if um, if it turns out that the HRE is destroyed. My best guess is that it changed when the um, when the HRE swapped official religions, or maybe I just didn't notice it, because I'm thinking what happened is that since um, there has to be at least one nation which is uh, Protestant in the HRE, for that to actually be, a th so for the HRE to continue existing, there has to be a Protestant Emperor, if the official faith is Protestant. If not, then it will simply uh, remove the HRE, it'll just dissolve. So what I'm thinking, the reason they put this in is that if the official faith swaps over to Protestant, then it changes to this, because if every province in the HRE is owned by Catholic country, I mean, I, I guess technically you could swap it to someone else. Someone else could be Emperor but not be in the HRE, but I, I think that's the reason why, just in case it dissolves itself by accident in your attempts to do that. Um, instead of just bypassing it, it actually gives you an objective. So we can continue along here. We can actually just force religion on a bunch of countries. There are relatively few of them left. For instance, I could just um, use Imperialism on like a ton of countries. Like There are a lot of countries still to use. So I wouldn't feel so bad about that. Let me actually give you a, uh, a general so you can go and fix up that whole problem. We're going to give you a general as well. I think we're actually going to start getting to work on actually just... Um, sorry, on actually just converting all the HRE provinces. Or all the nations within. So to do that... Primary... Sorry, how... Uh, Oh, right, yeah, every country with a Germanic primary culture is Catholic, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's every country, not every province, so I simply have to convert them. We're going to start with the OPMs first. They're much simpler and they're much smaller, easier to do. The larger nations, I will have to use a uh, direct sort of uh, intervention or a direct CB against them. So, yeah, because it's directly linked to their war score for provinces, I believe. So I can use it on Switzerland for 37, I can use it on Savoy for 68%, that's just sort of how the whole thing works. Of course we have um, a lot of larger nations around here, say like Austria for instance, but um, I'm pretty sure in the Austria's case actually, I want to test something because uh, our faith in the world, Global Crusade allows us to um, reduce the cost by 40%. But I'm wondering if it also counts as war score cost versus other religions. Because we have a good, like, a really, really good uh, discount on that, I think, right? It's actually only minus 10%, so we can't be sure about that. That could be entirely false. It's just 10% war score cost versus other religions. I'm wondering, is that, um... Okay, that's automatically accounted for this, actually. So, 146%. Is um, is the actual full cost at this point? So unfortunately, we still wouldn't be able to to convert Austria fully. I'll have to take the land and do a bunch of you know acrobatics to make that work out. So it would it'll take a while, like a long time. I'll have to invade Austria piecemeal. If you guys are willing to watch that, then I'm willing to keep you know making videos. But it's really up to you guys. I'm going to keep converting some stuff. Let me turn up the music, actually. I don't know if that's just me, but it seems quiet. Well, of armies, Ottoman separatists have won just before I got there. Very unfortunate. We have some attrition over here. Yeah, let's move you... Nowhere, actually, because you were stuck. You've been cast aside in here. There's nowhere for you to go. I'll have to bust my way out by invading someone like Lorraine here 
Uh, Lorraine, which is... Yeah, they actually are Protestants, so I could just take the land. Or I could convert them. I think I will just keep invading people, honestly. Hesse, we swapped religions. How about Frankfurt? They have Aachen, who is Catholic. Berg, who is Catholic. No, not Catholic. And Bamberg. Which is not Catholic, so I wouldn't mind actually invading them. Just so I can swap all of their religions. Hey you, change that religion real quick. I need that for a mission. The very last one, which I thought would be completed with the destruction of the HRE, but I guess that's just not how it works. Doesn't really matter which one we pick here. Grab the Siege of Isel back. Great. You should go back to your original spot. I built a couple of town halls just because my governing capacity is disgusting right now and there's no way I can improve it. So I actually just have to build like in every possible state that I own something like this. Just something. Even if the state's not worth much, just put down something. And I can of course go in through each individual city and build some town halls. I think I built one in Roma. And anywhere that already has a courthouse gets priority because it costs less to upgrade and it doesn't take up building slot. I think that's mostly it. Let's slap one down in Moscow. Particularly large cities. Constantinople doesn't have room for one though. I'll remove a regimental camp and then I'll Actually, I won't be building that fort. Yeah, no, I will build a town hall, though. I would like one over here as well. State house in there, though. Let's remove a church, and let's put a town hall. Milano as well. Instead of a... Instead of a church... No, let's remove a workshop, that's okay. For the town hall. Remove all your production. Break down churches. Break down ancient buildings. Just so you can fit them under your governing capacity. That is the story of progress, isn't it? Oh boy. That's fun stuff. It's not even end game micro. We're like mid to late game micro. Can't even imagine how terrible end game micro is. Can't imagine how Micro is going for World Conquest at this point. We're nowhere near even trying a World Conquest. We're just having fun around here, but... Can't even imagine what that's like. I should give it a shot one day. Just to see if it's as bad as I think it is. But, uh, that's a discussion for another day. Let's focus on our sieges here. Frankfurt is a level 7 fort, yeah, I thought that was going to be a pain to take down, and it is. Oh boy. So Bamberg, it's very simple, I request very few things from you. Force religion. You know what, keep your alliances, I don't even care. Keep them, but you have to change your religion, and that's it. And you have to give me a little bit of prestige through this. Okay, cool. And you are released. Send these guys back towards our provinces, then we'll bring them over to Berg, which is over there. Conversion successful, very nice. Let's go do that. I can convert more, actually. There we go. Do I have subjects which I should convert? Tunis is already Catholic. Syria, that was an accident. Floride doesn't really like me. If I dropped enough tariffs, they probably wouldn't like me enough either. Yeah, they don't like my admin efficiency or my tariffs. Britain, Louisiana, though, if I... Paid off your debt. Decreased your tariffs. And then enforce religion on you. Then that's cool with you. 
I could placate Floride, but they're a little too large. Um, yeah, just a little bit too large. Anyways, we're gonna have to help a little bit. I should also become Defender of the Faith, shouldn't I? It's actually useful for us. It only costs 500. Sure, let's do that. And then I can use that to help convert his lands with an extra missionary. So that's great. This is in admin. Okay, cool. Okay, town hall is complete. This is taking way too long, and you just didn't even move. Okay, that's cool. Let's try that one again. And we'll siege down Aachen, which I'm actually okay with white piecing. That's totally cool. Because they're already Catholic, so they don't need to, uh... They don't need to be converted or anything. Siege of Aachen is done. Let's move this army back down to here. Aachen. Yeah, you're already the right religion, so I'm just gonna let you peace out. I don't actually need much from you. Have a good day. Okay. And then we have Berg, which is still at high uh, enthusiasm somehow, despite not having a single unoccupied province. It's because their army is probably out, like, over here. So ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How did I know that your army would be out in the middle of literally nowhere? How did I guess? Anyways, you'll probably accept religion that... I, I don't really care what you do with your mill access. Just give me the rest of your cash and a goodbye. And then we have Frankfurt. Of course, I will force your religion, but I wonder if I can take these. I actually could, and there's not much of a repercussion for that. So it'll actually bring them down to one province, Nassau. And not only that, but um, it'll also convert Nassau. So they have no chance at um, being overtaken by other rebels. Or, maybe I'm completely wrong... And it applies the force conversion before changing their capital, therefore making what I just did there completely useless. Great, that's some good stuff. That's wonderful, you love to see that. Anyways, let's hand this over to our sweet vassal here. You can court up for me. You're the right religion, right? Oh, I can't believe this entire time you've been the wrong religion. Treachery. There we go. Imagine if I had converted everyone except my own vassal to the correct faith. Impossible. Unfathomable. I've trapped myself, but this time with two armies. Yes, my <laughs> incredible wisdom showing here. That was a big brain move. Yeah, maybe not the best of ideas. I'm sure they'll convert just fine. Don't know about these guys, though. They're not going to convert just fine. They're probably going to hate their lives. Because I messed that up a whole bunch. But anyways, let's convert my own subject's land. No, yes. Not that one, this one. I really do wish I had some more missionaries, though. I don't think I can get any more for this campaign. I think I've taken everything. Unless there are more, like, um, triggered modifiers for me to take. Catholic Empire doesn't exist. There is no empire, so you can't get any anything from there. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Maybe if I took the Holy Cities, there might be something for that. But I don't really remember the, um, the Sunni Holy Cities. The, uh, there is Mecca and Medina, those ones. These two. If I take those, I might get a missionary. I'm not sure. And then I can use that for more converting. But anyways, there are more heretics here that I must save. So, well, we can start with you. Maybe. It does have Austria, though, as an ally. Oh, joy. Um, Saxony is just getting torn apart. 
Oldenburg might not... Oh, yeah, Oldenburg's a great one. As I immediately declare. Move over to Ulm. I'm sure we'll get mill access in a little bit, right? No? Really? Weird. Uh, not through you, or I can get through you. But not through these guys. You can ask Turingia for mill access, and then they'll let me through. Well, Munstead, of course, as well. And that puts us at 7 out of 7, which is totally fine. Works for me. So we can force convert you, force convert you. There we go. I've got a couple more provinces done. Let's go and convert that province. That's great. Fire him. Um, our administrative guy. He does some pretty good work for us, though. I kind of like him. I do like him. Quite a lot. So, after Ulm, which is not done, we'll have Bamberg. Didn't we just invade Bamberg? Or was that by uh, Bayreuth? I feel like we did just force convert them, so... They'll be free to go pretty immediately. Oh boy, that's a lot of conversion, actually. That's kind of crazy. All my subjects need help converting stuff. Rotzenberger, well, once we get this seemingly very easy, easy siege, we should be able to go and fix that. There we go. I had to um, exacerbate the fact that it should be extremely easy or else the game would just say no and not give it to me. So, yeah, that's obviously how that works, right? Bamberg and Ulm. Ulm, you can... Force religion. But let me do a quick check on that. Ulm only has one province, right? Oh yeah, it's double cost because they are uh, not the war leader. It's the same cost for annexation because yeah, they're not the they're not the war leader. That makes sense. I was like, hmm, am I big dumb? Well, yes, but that's not the point right now. Yeah, so it costs 36 here. So to force religion, it'll cost 30. Yeah, okay. that's That makes sense. Uh, we'll get rid of your friendship with Austria. And that's fine with me. Four reps, money. Goodbye. Okay. Let's not trap both of our armies in this time. Let's cancel that mill access. And let's cancel this mill access. Let's convert some more stuff. Starting with our subject, in, a subject in Germany, of course. Much more important to do that. They're coring this, though, and I think that's actually it for them. They don't have that much territory, so it was nice and quick. Alright, let's move on to a different uh, different one. Now, my biggest concern is, uh, what is this? Every country with a Germanic primary culture is Catholic. Okay, I'm just going to make sure, but I don't think there were any... Yeah, there are no Dutch colonial nations, right? Also, haven't seen this nation ever, but that's cool. I hope there weren't any Dutch colonial nations. Oh, you better not. Okay, you're definitely not Dutch primary culture, but you've probably accepted Dutch. Oh, good lord, okay. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Because I'm like, hmm, if there are Dutch colonial nations, then that means I'd have to convert those too. Because they are Germanic primary culture, and indeed a nation, so that's how that works. Anyways, so Bamberg, let's get rid of you. Uh, no conversion, you're fine as you are. 
just leave. And then we have Oldenburg, which you may have your religion changed. Give me some war reps, I'll take some money. Somehow you've rivaled France. Oh, well, I guess France has been exodus to the New World, so whatever. And, uh, well, have a good day. <sighs> Slowly, but surely, we're getting across here. Looks like they actually did convert. We're so far into the game, and they have religious ideals, that it was actually really easy for them to do that. So, of the Germanic culture nations left, we actually don't have to worry about any of this. Which is wonderful, so I don't care about these guys. I have to worry about Saxony, whom I have a truce with, right? Uh, and do until 1709, that's quite a long time. And I have to worry especially about Austria, they're the big one. Also Landshut, which I have a truce with until 1701. You guys have a lot of peasants. Good lord, you guys have peasants everywhere. So I can't deal with those two. Uh, Tsuringia, maybe? Yeah, I could. Much easier to use imperialism on one of their allies, though. There's also Switzerland, which I have to show superi superiority on. For Switzerland, though, I can do it for uh, the double cost. So let's go for one of their allies. Like Ferrara. Yay, no. I was going to say that'd be a good one, but it's actually not. Never mind, it is actually a great one. I'll immediately just declare that. And I'm going to force convert. I don't know if I can force convert both of them. It'd be kind of cool if I could, though, wouldn't it? I think so. Let's bring you over here. Actually, let me test that. I actually can force convert both of these nations. Oh boy. I don't even need the Global Crusade. I could just force root out all of the uh, heresy myself. Without it. That's crazy. That's some good stuff. Let's make sure we also have this nice and barraged. I think I'll start moving... Actually, no. I was about to say, I'm going to start moving towards... Uh, administrative ideas, but uh, no, I won't. In fact, I will be using uh, next admin tech. That's 250 governing capacity. You bet I'm going to use that. Are those more of your rebels? There's no way. I don't think they're mine. Oh, yeah, they are. Never mind. They're Provence um, separatists. Provencien, Provençal, Provençal. Okay. 21% on that. That was a lucky siege. Great stuff. Keep moving around. Not quite over there. You can stand there. That's fine. We lost the siege. Super unfortunate, but it was a level 2, so that kind of makes sense. There we go. Grab that fort. Easy. God damn it, they're running away. I'm still very very much surprised that Ferrara's alive in here. They've just 100% culture shifted. Like, they're not even Italian anymore. What is the primary culture of Ferrara? Can I not check? I should be able to check. Nope, apparently I can't. Okay, cool. I'm guessing that it's still Italian, just because AI, culture shifting, not usually two things that go together, but who knows, maybe we'll have a weird exemption because of French Ferrara. Maybe. Oh, now we have the Enlightenment. Please spawn in Europe, please spawn in Europe. Ah, oh, beautiful, it's in Europe. Okay. That just means I need to spam out universities, because uh, your boy lacking some unis. Well, there's a timer for today, but we still have some things to get done. Let me build just a couple of university, you know, just a couple of universities. Pretty much everywhere. Those are actually very terrible places for universities. There are way too many concentrated together. Let's not do it like that. Like, come on, three on this island? No, we can get like one. 
We can build a few, but we don't need this many like this. It's much better to just spread them out. So we'll have one over here. We'll have one... Uh, yeah, sure, over here. Here, here, there. Definitely one over here. Uh, we can get one over here, one over here, one in there. Just make sure they're nice and spread out so we get a lot of spread in all of our provinces. Okay, that should be good, I think. Of course, if I have a ton of extra money with literally nothing left to do with it, so then I could build a few more, but for now we're kind of fine. Let's pick up all of our techs, which should ease off the restraint on our governing capacity. Very nice. You love to see that. Those are actually being moved towards Catholic, right? I was about to say, I'm not converting things to Protestant by accident, am I? Because that would be kind of embarrassing. But, uh, anyways. New tariffs? No. Yeah, I mean, it's up to whatever. Don't care. Here we go. I feel like Switzerland would be okay with a force religion. It's double the cost, but they don't mind. And I'll remove an alliance, maybe. Well, not that they actually have many, if any at all. There we go. You've been swapped back to Catholic. Ferrara itself can also be swapped to Catholic. We just need to get more war score. I'm surprised they even own this stuff up here. It's kind of weird. That force march to catch you. No, but you're going into Verdun. Okay. Not even fast enough to catch those units, goddamn. Or these ones. It's about to say, how fast are you? The answer is not fast enough. Can I convert? No, not yet. We've almost taken everything, but not quite everything. I'll have to get rid of a few more of these guys. Come on. Where'd you go? I literally have no idea where they went. Uh, okay. Doesn't matter. I'll end up taking, like, a province. Where... Wait, what? Oh, that's uncomfortable. The more provinces I take, the less it actually costs to fort to, um, to change their religion, which is kind of weird. Uh, okay. Right. I'll just take these and then force your religion. Okay, have fun with that. Well, go and grab those. And what's left? We have only a few nations which are still... Not Catholic. Magdeburg, which I will gratefully use imperialism on, because we have a truce with Savoy, and Savoy would cost... Actually, we'd be able to convert them. Well, Savoy is not Germanic culture, though, so we don't have to worry about Savoy. It didn't say every province, it said every country of primary Germanic culture. So, I don't actually have to convert Savoy. I do have to convert Magdeburg, though. Which I will. So, we're going on a trip over here. And that'll be the last one for today, I think. We've already gone over our limit. Let's see who we can ask for access. Let's ask you, and let's ask you. There we go. Got a couple of things done here. So, the dark blue flag is Louisiana, right? And the light blue is Eastern America. There we go. More conversions. And all of these conversions do give me a higher chance of being next pope as well, which is really cool. Okay. 
That siege is complete. Day by day, we get closer to finishing this whole thing. God damn. Is Luxembourg primary Germanic culture? They might actually be. That's the bug. Is actually not. It is French Walloon. Interesting. Now, Luxembourgish as a language, I think, is very close, if not almost exactly like German. But in the game, I guess, Luxembourg is uh, Francienne culture. Well, not Francienne, but a in the French culture group. Yeah, that one. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I guess there is no Luxembourgish over here. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. So, you, uh, force religion. There's really not much else to it. I don't care about the rest of this stuff at all. Just get rid of it. Thank you. It's one more nation. Turingia, which we, uh, don't have a truce with. But it would take a little longer to invade. There's Landswit, which we'll, um, we'll fix our truce pretty soon with. Does that only make, like, four nations? I think so. There's Austria. Landshut, Thuringia, Mulhausen, and Lorraine, I think, is, yeah, French culture. So we don't have to touch that. Huh, well, that's cool. All right, well, hopefully the next episode we can clean up the rest of this. We can force convert most, uh, most of the rest of the nations we have to do. For now, though, this is Corbett signing off, hoping you enjoyed the episode, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick shout-out for the patrons for the month of July, especially those we have in the Admiral tier, Ben Greenhagen, Cara Newley, and Tiger Pop, those in the General tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, and Alexander Baker, and those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis, and as always, in the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a lot to me, you're helping to move this channel forward much more than you know, and as always, I cannot possibly thank you enough.